Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Um, same as started and we are live. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. So um, very impromptu live. If you missed this and you're like, I never heard about it because I didn't tell anybody about it. Very impromptu. But I realized I needed to check in because I've just gone live in the Tennis Elbow Relief Book Club group. And I was filling them all in on the most up-to-date research on tendons. And I did send an email out last week with all the information. Um, but I realized not everybody's on my email list. So if you got the email, great. You've probably got the information. If you didn't get the email, you can get on my email list. Actually, in the guides, there are several opportunities there to um, sign up for different things. And you can, you'll be on my email list and you'll get these automatic updates. Um, but if you're not on my email list, this is for you. Um, so yes, I attended a conference last week and one of the speakers was talking about tendons. Obviously, that's why I was listening in because that's my, I was going to say specialist subject, which kind of is, but it's my passion. I flipping love learning about tendons. So I, um, I tuned in last week to hear what the most recent research about tendons is telling us. Um, so you know, go back 15 years when I first met Buddy, I trawled the research back then to find out what helped him. And at the time we thought tendons healed within 12 weeks. The program was 12 weeks long. That was our understanding 15 years ago. Now about 10 years ago, a new piece of research came out that said, no, 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 tendons don't take 12 weeks to heal. They take 12 months to heal. And so my program shifted. Obviously, as new research comes out, giving us new information, I incorporate that into my teachings, into my program, into how I help, help people. So we, we found that out about 10 years ago, there or thereabouts, that it takes tendons 12 months to heal. Now, that's not sitting back doing nothing. That's 12 months of the correct stresses and strains going through the tendon. Because if you're sitting there going, hey, but Emma... I've had tennis elbow for three years. Why is it not better then? That's over 12 months because you've not been putting the correct stresses and strains through it. That's the reason. So 12 months, a tendon will heal as long as the correct stresses and strains are going through it. So um, that was about 10 years ago. When I published my book, Tennis Elbow Relief, I just happen to have a copy right here. If you haven't got it, you can get it on Amazon. And there's, there's a Kindle version as well. So it's, it's ultra accessible to everybody. Um, so when I published my book in 2021, I trolled the research again. I refreshed all the research, you know, all the most up-to-date research went into the book. And then when I published my second book, Get Out of Pain Fast, that came out in September of last year. I updated the research again. Now, obviously, that's a more general book. It talks about if you've got back pain, if you've got neck pain, if you've got knee pain, the principles as, as stay the same. So basically, the way I teach you to heal your tennis elbow, and if I say tennis elbow and you've got golfer's elbow, just take golfer's elbow, so tendons, essentially. There are four phases of healing. This is exactly the same if it's your neck, your back, your knee, your elbow, your wrist, your whatever. So the four phases of healing remain the same. And that's why the second book, the, the general book, came out. So the phase one is all about reducing your symptoms, um, normalizing the nervous system. Because if you have had pain for more than three months, most people who find me have, then your nervous system is, um, is involved. Your nervous system is hypersensitized. We need to bring that down. Many people often say to me, but Emma, I don't think my nervous system, I don't think my nerves are involved. 95% of the clients that I work with who've had tennis elbow, again, here golfer's elbow, whichever, um, for three months or longer, 95% of those clients have a nerve involvement, have nervous system involvement. So if you've had tennis or golfer's elbow for longer than three months, generally you are going to have nervous system involvement, which is why everybody I see, it's like, we're going to address the nervous system. It's not hard to do. We're going to address the nervous system. So phase one is all about that. Phase two is about decreasing the muscle tension. Really, phase one and phase two are all about preparing you for phase three. Phase three is where we start adding the correct load that the tendon needs to heal. Phase three is where the magic happens. Phase three is where we actually start healing your tendon. Phase one and two just prepares you 
prepares the tissues to be able to tolerate the stresses and strains that we're going to put through you in phase three. Oftentimes people will find me and they'll say, oh, well, I, tried, I tried those exercises, they didn't work for me. And it's because they were jumping straight into phase three without preparing the tissues. And, and that, will, that will absolutely lead to failure every time because the tissues are not ready for those heavy loads, stresses and strains that you need to heal the tendon. And so, so they fail, it makes them worse. It feels painful and, and so they, they don't do it. That's not the right way to go about it. You know, if you go through phase one and phase two, the tissues are prepared, you're ready for those heavy load strains in phase three. So um, it was, you know, it was good to, to do this conference last week and listen to the most cutting edge research that is coming out now about tendons. So the guy who was speaking, um, you know, he's, he's a, he's a, PhD doctor, all he does is work with tendons. You know, I just absolutely loved listening to him talking about and like his passion about talking about tendons. He showed a really great photograph like um, of the cellular structure of tendons. I know I'm going into minute detail, but you know, you've, you've got to understand it. You've got to understand why I'm asking you to do these things. And this is the reason why. So um, on the one side, he showed a normal tendon, which all, everything was very um, uniform, very tightly packed together. If we do an ultrasound scan of a normal tendon, it looks like a rope. All the fibers tightly packed together, all very uniform, all sort of, you know, looking very nice and shiny. That's kind of how a normal tendon should look, very uniform. A few cells in there for the calcium channels, which allow the, the tendon to tolerate the strain, the, the calcium channels light up when strain's put through tendon. And then he showed us uh, uh, this micros microscopic image of the cells of a degenerated tendon. That's like a tennis elbow or a golfer's elbow or a bicep tendon or a tricep tendon or a shoulder impingement tendon, all of these tendons. And it was so haphazard. It was, it reminded me of, you, you know, those um, David Hockney pictures, like the, the paint splatterings, like just all like random haphazard. That's exactly what it looked like. There were like tons of different cells there that shouldn't have been there. There was no u uniformity of the tissues at all. It was just like totally haphazard. And that's what a degenerated tendon looks like. And that's what we see on ultrasound scan as well. Imagine that rope unraveling, cells get in there that shouldn't be there. That's a degenerated tendon, that's a tennis elbow. Now, um, as we put the correct stress and strain through that, imagine that rope like tightening back up again. That's what happens. You get a rever reversing of the degeneration. Not often we can say reverse in, in medicine and healthcare. Um, Oftentimes we're just managing symptoms, but if you have a degeneration of the tendon, we can reverse that with the correct stresses and strains. Woohoo! It's amazing. Um, so that's that's what you know his his um, presentation was showing. Now the the thing the way he started his presentation is that tendons are very slow to change. Tendons are very slow to renew. So you know, like we think about the skin, and like you lose a layer of skin, and your skin renews itself every I don't know thirty to sixty days like whatever it is, it's very, very quick. Tendons, no, 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 tendons don't have that at all, which is why they're very slow to heal. And we know it takes 12 months to heal a tendon as long as you are putting the correct stresses and strains through it. If, if, you, if you're not putting the correct load through a tendon, it won't heal, period, end of story. You know, he was very animated about the fact that tendons love load. Of course they do, they're a connective tissue. They attach the muscle to the bone. They transmit that load. That's how your body can move. And so tendons love load, tendons heal with load. That's why you have to put load through tendons to heal them. So if you are not using load, your tendon is not gonna heal. Now again, don't go jumping into doing weights because they're not the right exercises. You're, you haven't prepped the tissues. That's why you've got to prep phase one, phase two, into phase three, which is where we add the load and the magic happens. You need to do those loaded exercises for a full 12 months because that's how long the tendon takes to heal as long as you're putting the good stress and strain through. So this is where you have to do the exercises every day. In fact, you do them twice a day, but you have to do them for a full 12 months. Now at the end of that time, my 
clients are very varied. Some people stop them straight away, never have to do them again. Some people are saying, I am never stopping these because they have healed me, got me back to doing everything I want to do. And I'm never going back to how it was. And they continue on with, you know, whatever version suits them. Some people will do them twice a day, every single day, because it really doesn't take very long. They're at the stage where they know what they're doing. It maintains them. They're staying completely fine. Some people will wean down to once a day, once every other day, once a week, kind of whatever works for them. It's very individual. But once you've done that 12 months of every single day, twice a day healing, then, you know, you figure out what's right for you as you wean down. Um, but it was really, really good to hear that everything like the most cutting edge information coming out about tendons is exactly what we know about tendons right now. There was nothing that I was like, oh, that's unusual. I didn't expect that. It was it was definitely backing up everything that I teach and everything that we know about tendons. Now, um, there are some more conferences coming up this year and I'm like super excited. I'm like, I want to get back to conferences. This is really fun. So um, there is a, the British um, Elbow and Shoulder Specialist, Specialists. I'm having a conference in June. I'm hoping to get to that one because that'd be really fun. There is a pain conference in Vegas in September. I'm kind of looking to do that one. And then there is a tendon conference in November. I think that's what that one is Spain so I'm like I'm looking at doing some traveling this year guys so as I'm doing some traveling if you are in any of these places I would love to meet up it would be amazing to meet up um if you don't know I met up with a couple of people from my program in Wimbledon in London at the end of last year uh in December because my book Tennis Lover Relief was admitted to the World Tennis Library in Wimbledon at the um, All England Lawn Tennis Association Club um, at Wimbledon in London. So that was very exciting. So as I'm doing more traveling this year, I'm definitely going to be putting it out there, letting you guys know, because I, I would absolutely love to meet up and, and, and see how I can help you more. So I hope that helps. I know, I know everybody's looking for a quick fix. There is no quick fix because the research shows us that tendons take 12 months to heal when you're putting the correct strain through it. So therefore, an injection cannot heal your tendon. Um, these, uh, these, these videos on YouTube that drive me flipping mad, it's like, heal your tennis elbow in five minutes with this quick, no, no, no. It's not going to heal a tendon. Um, so just know that you need to be doing the correct stresses and strains. It's all in my book. You know, if you don't have the book, get the book. Um, the book bonuses that come with the book, you get additional videos that come with the book. So don't miss out on those. You know, if you've got the book and you haven't signed up for the book bonuses, you're missing out important information that are gonna heal your tendon. So don't miss out on the book bonuses. Those videos are in there for a reason to show you how to do the exercises. It's, it's much, much easier. You know, they say like a picture paints a thousand words. It's much, much easier for me to send you a video of doing the exercise than it is for me to try and like write it all out in the book. That's why the videos are there. So sign up for the book bonuses, make sure you've got those, go through those videos. If you've got the book, you can sign up to the, um, the book club Facebook group, you know, I go in there every month and answer questions. So, you know, sign up and get in there. If you have questions, if you've watched this video and you're like, I didn't know that, or what the hell is she talking about? Or I just need to talk to her, reach out to me, reach out. I'm here to help. If you have tennis elbow, there is no reason why you should have tennis elbow. If you have golfers, elbow, you know, if you have a tendon problem like that around your elbow, there is no reason why you should be suffering. It is not acceptable that you're suffering. Um, you've just not been putting the correct stresses and strains through that tendon, through those tissues. Um, if it keeps coming back, you've likely not calmed your nervous system down. All of that needs addressing. And that's why all of it is, is what I teach because you know, you can't just have like one piece if we miss this bit out, it's, it's not going to work. So please feel free to reach out. I'm more than happy to help and um, have an amazing day. I've got to go and make breakfast for my son now. <laughs> so I'm going to go and do that. Have an amazing day and I will see you soon. Take care. Bye.